Echo One, you'll need to return to the medical lab. Find Nora. Collecting these ticks could not have been easy in this corridor. A further casualty of the biomass. Dr. Harlan and I were just giving this torpedo the once over while we waited. Let's assume we open another anomaly and send Jack's consciousness back to the past. These anomalies do tend to be somewhat unpredictable. The anomaly is going to close any moment now. Preparing for return displacement. Jump imminent. Jack, are you here as well? Yeah. Why are we here? Why are we still here? I am uncertain. Our plan was developed under the requirement that the anomaly's collapse would return us to 2537. Oh, it didn't, did it? Had this outcome appeared likely, I would have developed a contingency. Plan B? We have an alternative means of returning. Given the limited resources available to us here, no, not that I am aware of. What do we do now, then? Now that the anomaly has subsided, I have run an additional test of the beacon. Radiological interference is still too significant. Nonetheless, the beacon is prepared to transmit continuously once the radiation subsides. As such, I am now shifting my priority back to the primary objective. What is the status of your assessment? Who? Assessment complete. Lots of poo. Well done. Unfortunately, our lack of extended range communication leaves us unable to deliver your work to Titan Command. Therefore, we must enact the Message in Immortal Protocol. Report back to me in the activation bay so that we may discuss the details. Jack, assisting Delta-6 may be our best solution at this point. Both of Delta Squad's objectives are still viable, though unlikely. The radiation may subside in time for the beacon to warn the Ithaca. And if it doesn't? Then we follow protocol. Then we're in the, the post. message in Apollo protocol. Yes. It is a standardized Atlas procedure. In short, Delta-6 intends to store our assessment in a secure device until it can be recovered. That information would disrupt the events of this timeline. That is the intention. To prepare humanity to defeat the biomass sooner. But then what happens to live? We have no way of knowing. Well, Our own limited experiences are the only concrete information we have regarding time travel. Simply put, there are too many confounding factors to even make an assessment. I see. I don't. It is, however, possible that once events here stabilize, we will be able to obtain help in returning to the future. Therefore, so I advise we wait until the Ithaca or other Atlas personnel arrive. We can then reevaluate. Very well, then we wait. I will inform Delta. Thirteen, I did not receive a response. Do you copy? Copy, Delta Six. I'm en route. Copy. Six out. Am I... uh, stop. Right, we gotta go that way. Protocol detects that in the event of a communication failure, the threat assessment must be securely stored for retrieval. Return to the records of Cronus 2. Oh my god, seriously. I, I honestly don't think I've played a more epic VR game than this. This is just, just incredibly insane. I mean, Jesus H. Christ. Oh, so we're now stuck in in the past future oh I don't know keeps that free can I make it through the radiation it would appear the activation bay though now somewhat separated from the bridge survived as well 13 you return yep. Let me know when you are ready to commence. Commence what? Let's begin. Very well. Your new shell is right over there, awaiting your transfer. Ooh. My new shell. Correct. Protocol dictates we should place the assessment data in the most secure storage solution available, tier 6 or higher. That's me. That series 11 shell should do nicely. 
That should make waiting for the Ithaca far simpler. Understood, Six. I will transfer when ready. Acknowledged. I will attempt further optimization of the beacon in the That's an echo ship. I'll prepare the transfer. Initiate through your arm computer Go. when you're ready. Shields at 30%. Oh, I've lost my gun, but I'm back in my original body. Oh, God, Jesus Christ, that was a bit close. Can I get out. Transfer appears complete. Please confirm, 13. Confirmed. Oh, confirmed. I am online. Oh, I'm online. Acknowledged. You are now integrated into the activation base power grid, which I have connected to a mobile reactor. Reactor. It should provide ample power for both you and the beacon. Okay. Especially once you've engaged your hibernation protocol. I will do my best to keep you and the power supply safe. Acknowledged. Okay, so I just got to sleep, yeah? Will you let me know if the anomaly reappears? Kill you. They're prudent. Very well. She's going to have a nap. Initiate hibernation when ready. I've set the protocol for timed disengagement so that we may awaken for the Ithaca's approximate arrival. Excellent. Excellent. It is unlikely anyone else will arrive in the meantime. Indeed. Ready when you are, Jack. Ready. Good luck, Delta. No, no, I... Please avert your headlamp. How long? 50 days? Oh, this is going to be a long video. Sorry. Oh, speeding up a little bit. 20 days. Oh, I need a wee. 31 days. 40 days. Um, that's not supposed to happen. Preparing for course correction burn. What am I doing now? Destination Earth. Oh. End of transmission. Shut the front door. Oh, we're still here. I thought we were going back to Earth. Status. What? Unfortunately, it appears the radiation has not yet subsided. Unless Delta 6 managed to improve the beacon, the Ithaca will not be warned. Right, so that means. Delta 6, this is Delta 13. What is your status? Delta 6, status. Power's down. How the hell do I get it? Can I just duck? I'm not picking them up on sensors out? either. Uh, However, there is a high gain broadcast coming through. That? From the Ithaca. I'll patch it in. This is the SCI Ithaca automated nav transponder. Oh my god. Correction burn initiating. Three. What? Two. One. What what happened? Why am I here? The vessel is passing by on its way to Earth. Then as anticipated, the beacon has failed. I want to go to Earth. Effectively, we are witnessing the origin of the biomass outbreak. This is where Correct. it began. This does appear to be the final moment from which the ensuing series of events could be changed. A tipping point, if you will. What now? What should we do now? Without Delta-6, delivering our data on the base genetic material is far less tenable. How so? Simply put, we are back to not knowing what happens next. An Atlas Meh. team could arrive within the hour, or within a year. Or never. Keeps that. Precisely. Delta-6 would have been able to assist such a team in finding us while we're in hibernation. But without that, we must err on the side of extreme caution. Oh my god. <sighs> How long can we hibernate? Then, return to live. we should focus on returning yes, to live. Yes, seems like a plan. Possibly. The main issue is the lifespan of that mobile reactor. At current operation, it should last roughly 50 years. <laughs> if we were to minimize <laughs> the beacon's output, 50 years. we could last roughly 500 years. What? But then I doubt anyone would find us. Uh, what if they knew we were to look? I agree. The odds of someone discovering us would be quite low. Yeah. But what if someone knew to look? 
If they wouldn't give up on looking. Like Liz. Captain Rhodes. Exactly. If we hibernate until 2537, she will search for us once we fail to return. In fact, if we altered the beacon's message to one she would uniquely recognize. And time its broadcast to resume when she would start searching. She's gonna sleep to the future. Then we should be easily found, with power to spare. Pausing beacon now. I'll set it to resume shortly after when we would have disappeared. Beacon set. The next time we awaken, it should be due to Captain Rhodes having received our message. Well, that's a good plan. We'll just sleep until they Initiate find us. Initiate hibernation when you're ready. Uh, Alright, 99 people. I'll see you in 500 years. Um, 500 years. So, what can we do to pass the time? Set duration. Oh, it's only 410 years. It's alright. May take some time. Cool. 100 days? Earth has been quarantined. Uh, Passage to and from is prohibited until further notice. You stop doing that. No, I want to go back to sleep. That, that didn't seem very long. I need my beauty sleep. Um, it's got darker. Jack, listen. Message to all colonies. Do not, I repeat, do not attempt passage to Earth. Um. Any and all travelling vessels avert course to your nearest off-world vessel. Radiation's gone. All passage to and from Earth is prohibited until further notice. That's not good. It's a distress call from Earth. And not the only one. I'm intercepting countless transmissions from ships disobeying orders. Oh my god. Fleeing Earth. We know every major event of the next 400 years. There must be some way to yeah, help. we're full of knowledge. We're already doing everything within our power. We just slept. Not really doing much. We should conserve energy, Jack. Reinitiate hibernation when you're ready. Well, stop waking me up then. Let's just wait for Liv. Good night. Are we going to sleep all the way this time? Oh, three, one, one. Oh, was that? Oh, we didn't even hit a year yet. Oh, it's not good. Might take a little bit of time. What do you reckon? When will it stop? What do you reckon? I'm going to go 210. 210 years. Ooh. 150. 170. 190. 200. Oh, it's so close! 202 years. That's a really annoying alarm clock. I wonder what's changed in the time. No, just got lights. What the hell's going on now? Uh, Apollo, what is happening? It's a bit rocky. We're passing through a debris cloud. It is mostly comprised of small particulates of light. Wake me up for this. But sensors indicate a denser cluster on collision course. Time to impact. How long before it reaches our position? We have approximately 20 seconds before it. Ooh. However, Bye, the trajectory people. places the affected area outside our immediate position. We will experience some impact tracks, but this bay should provide adequate. I'm holding on. I presume that's why this is here for me to hold on. Oh, here it comes. Hold, hold on. Two, ah! two, one. Oh my god, Jesus. Oh, this is scary as hell. I don't like the eye anymore. Uh... Is that it? Oh, was that it? I went too bad. Tremors subside. That's alright. Minimal damage to the activation. Oof. 
Not sleep. What? Two hundred forty years to go. The impact of Pierce Dish destroyed the mobile reactor. Options. What are our options with limited power? I now estimate we will fall short of reaching Dr. Harlan's time by nearly a century. Who? Our only option now is to initiate a complete shutdown. To leave all remaining power for the beacon when it restarts in Harlan's time. Okay, let's do that then. A complete shutdown would cause all non-essential data to be purged. Yes, but I should be able to preserve your critical memory banks including the biomass data imprint. But as long as the distress call reaches the doctor and captain, they can retrieve this shell and transfer your preserved memory core. This is not good. The, the, this is not... Good luck, Jack. This is not... This is not good. Disabling all non-essential substances. No. Goodbye. Bye. Apollo. What's that? Oh dear. It's all dark. Ah, oh, there we go. Full shutdown. Oh, this is not good. Oh. Bye, people. Bloody <gasps> right. The hell? Initialize neural Hello? matrix transfer. Verify hardware connection. Okay, mapping core protocols to target. Hello? How much longer? Live? The transfer should go much faster now that we finally isolated you know? core protocols. Atlas Intelligence and Systems. And the other one. Artificial Neural Matrix version 11.312. Is it? Initialize boot sequence. Is it? Hello? Hello? I need a pee. Oh, Jesus, call you Yes? Liv? Yeah, I know. me. I can see. Everything's all right. You're back on Holland's wow, ship. that was a snooze. Hey, Popcorn! The scan data. Did you? Yeah. We got it. Dr. Harlan is already in the lab, developing a can countermeasure. Can I get out We're not there for hours now. I think you gave him a lot to unpack. You did good, Jack. Come on out. We'll see how it's Yay, going. Yay! Free! I feel a little bit, but I need something to eat. The anomaly. It collapsed. Yes, we suspected as such. I don't know what happened. It collapsed. Oh, it was oh duck. We fried the ah. FPL. We wanted to give you as much time as we could. Well, I 500 but years. We let it run too hot for too long. 10 years. It appears they've already started another test. We'll have to wait until they finish. What are they testing? Right. When it yeah. happened, you know, when the FDL yeah. collapsed, I, I thought... I was gone. Hey. Thought we failed. Oh. You thought we'd failed. I thought I'd lost Aww. you. Aww. I knew you loved me. I was almost okay. No, nope, you know, I don't know. With being stuck in this crappy future. So long as it was you and me. But when I saw that you FTL fancy burnout, a robot. and you didn't come back, just don't ever do that to We're me again. We're going to hybrid children in Lone Echo 3. I'll do my best. Stand by. I'll unseal the door. Baby popcorns. Hey, did you miss me? I'm back. Stand by. Liv, you need to get in a medical bed. Similar to other equipment on the Argos, this medical bed appears to have been added as a retrofit. Relatively recently, in fact, the previous medical bed was not equipped for the doctor's specific needs. You mean to oh, monitor absolutely. his infection? Indeed. Though, given that the standard configuration the is only capable of diagnosis and analysis work, it has been modified to administer treatments as well. Dr. Harlan? <sighs> You're here. Oh, you just saw me, did you? Doctor, cure. how is the it. cure progressing? Quickly. I was right. The data you captured in the past was precisely what we needed to complete the gene sequence. we are running one more test to be sure. But... Uh, I think we may have a solution. That was fast. From where I'm sitting? 
Se chama O Centris Ovadu. I would think by now we can all agree time is a relative construct. <risos> New parameters are set. We're ready to run the next test. All right, let's go. Do it. Give me real time status. Oh, oh. oh, I'm messing around, aren't I? Is it working? This is it. Is it? Yes. That's a big thumbs up from me, and that's a Treatment big thumbs successful. up from you. It worked. It worked. It worked. Just like that. Let's say it together. Right there on the monitor. Zero metabolic activity. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Congratulations, Doctor. Hold on. We should what refrain from celebrating just yet. We still need to determine how the treatment affects human subjects. You really think there's that big of a risk? It's possible. We can't know for certain until we conduct a proper test. Well, there's only two of us. That's right. We need to run a human trial. Go on, you have a go. Do you go first. Prep the bio bed. I'll feed you the parameters. Oh, interesting stuff. Let me do it. Let me do it. What about Olivia? Once Let me press the buttons. And safe, then we will administer it to the captain. In what reality does it make any sense for you to go first? This isn't a discussion. No, I'd let go first be anyway. Run. Chasing down this cure. Can I do it? It's been my life's work. Ready? Right. And if something goes wrong, we're going to need your brain to fix it. Captain Rhodes is right, Doctor. If you die, no one here would be able to carry on your work. Yes, I'll be able to do it. I'm a genius robot. It's got to be me. Oh, is it? Lev, are you sure you want to do this? Not really, no. But if I don't, I'm dead for sure, so... Is there no other way to assess the risk? None that are available to us. I concede this is not the most scientific of methods. But it is the most expedient. Oh my god. There has to be something we can... Jack, it's okay. Am I going to have to bring you back to life again? This is the right call. Do not retract Okay. Live. Take a Tell seat. Tell me how this is going to work. Well, you just sit Expose there. Expose the biomass in your system to a low level energy pulse for a very specific wavelength. Absorbing this energy will effectively terminate the biomass's metabolic processes, causing it to wither and die. Oh. Think of it like a self-destruct command embedded in the biomass's base DNA. There's lots of big Whoever words being it, said. knew what they were creating and wanted a way to stop it if it ever got out of control. Is this going to hurt? Probably. If I said yes, would it change your mind? Good question. Okay. Let's do it. Oh. I want to take a moment to triple check the math before we begin. Whatever you have to do. I'll let do you, you want to hold my hand? Ready. Hold my hand? Do you know? Yes, of course. Jack? Yes? Give me your hand. Ah, oh, this is cute. It's okay to be scared. I ain't scared. Uh, was that intended for you or me? Yes. Yes. Jack. Yeah. Look at me. I am. Have this is going to work. Okay. <laughs> oh God! Now don't you start. Go on. It's popcorn. It'll be all right. Can we not Captain transfer Rising. your consciousness into? A We're ready if you are. Into a I'm robot. Good. Oh, this Let's is go. some freaky stuff. Confirmed. Initiating counterpass mission. Surely you need to get out of the suit. No. Ooh. Oh. Liv. It's alright. I'm okay. Ooh, your toes. Vital signs are stable. None of our pathways in the infected cells are failing. It's working. Oh. 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 Cellular saturation in 10 seconds. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah. Sure? Yeah, I'm good. Five seconds. Three, two, 
What are we counting for? Man, are you alright? I'll say one thing. You need a poo. I'm never going to complain about those fabricators again. Oh. Well, what's the story? Morning glory. Did it work? Go ahead. Kill her. It says success. Um. Infection cleared. Oh, oh you're saved. All traces of the biomass forms have been neutralized. Apollo, you're is it dog. acceptable to celebrate now? Yay! It certainly appears so, yes. Celebrate good times. Come on! Come on, Doc! You'll go! Harlan, I... Thank you. <gasps> They're gonna make out. Yes. Well, uh... Good, then. So long as we are just floating here, do you mind if we keep walking? <laughs> it's Dr. Now Harlan's go. Now that works, we should start working on better ways to administer it. Uh, Harlan? We'll need both focused and wide dispersion methods. Dr. Sure, Harlan. we'll go. Let's try to schematics and feed them to the fabricators. Sure. I already have a number sure of ideas that I think Dr. could serve. Dr. Harlan. What? The treatment, Harlan? You still have to undergo the procedure. Right. She's got a point. Yes, of course. Come on. Do you know? Can you prep the bed for oh. another dispersion? It's already done. Very well. Get comfy. Are you ready? Just relax. All right? It's really, really fun. Would you like Jack to hold your hand as well? Start the procedure. Very well. Stand by. I'll hold your hand. Don't be like that. Oh. Colin, are you all right? Yeah. Uh, he's having a Do wee. You know? Vitals nominal. Blood pressure slightly elevated, but still within acceptable limits. It is good. Why is it going back up? 103 and rising. Colin? Oh Keep no, we're going we're gonna to do this again, aren't Blood we? Blood pressure spiking. 10 seconds to cellular saturation. It's not working. It's not Five good. Seconds. Live. Three, two, it's not. One. Press something. Shut down. Vital stabilizing. Uh, well, I've had worse experiences. Um. Though at the moment I can't really think of any. Why didn't it work? Harlan. What? Captain Rhodes? What is it? What's wrong? It, di it didn't. It didn't work. It didn't work. The biomass survived the treatment. Didn't work, mate. Harlan. I... Juno, get me out of here. What do we do now? I'll reset the bio bed. We can try again. No. Perhaps the metrics were somehow altered between the two tests. Juno. Or maybe some cases simply require more than one cycle before clearing. Juno, stop. This isn't right. What, what went... The treatment should have cleared both of us. Apollo. Yes, Doctor. The biomass sample we were testing earlier, where was it from? That particular sample was extracted from the wreckage of the Astraea. So it was the more primitive strain. That is correct. I need a specimen from this time period. Something off the station. I believe there is a sample from the research facility already seated in the cradle. And there's me Rotate thinking. The sample into position. This was the end. Alright, run the test again. Same parameters as before. Understood. Ready to execute. Do it. Go. Oh. What? Is it working? No. Oh. It's working. Is it? The sample is withering. Yeah, it's not Wait. though. Treatment ineffective. Oh. No. You don't say. What do we do now then? Apollo analysis. I'm still parsing the data, but it would appear the treatment only managed to temporarily suspend the biomass's metabolic pathways. Well, there's a twist in the plot. Them. The future strains resisting the treatment. Correct. 
The treatment eliminates the biomass from the past. But any form from this time period, it will only paralyze. Though at the moment, I can only speculate as to why this might be the case. It's because it evolved. The biomass in the Astraea is still developing, still vulnerable. But the strain from this time period has been running rampant for four centuries. Oh. Nora was right. There really is no stopping it. It just has a coronavirus feel to it. We're too late. We're too late. <laughs> Only by about one or two hundred years. I knew I shouldn't have slept so that that's long. It. We failed. No. Where are you going? We didn't fail. Did we not? Harlan? Does he want us to follow him? I have no idea. Well, I'm going to follow him anyway. But I'm going to. Whoa, 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 you need to slow down, sunshine. Harlan? Shh. But yeah. Where are you going? Whoa! You need to warn me when you're going to stop. Right. Now what? Come on, Liv. We're waiting on you. He hasn't got long left. What are you looking at? It's backwards. We didn't fail. We just learned something new. We learned there's a window. A certain point in time wherein the biomass was still vulnerable. When it could be stopped. Yeah, that point's long past. Is it though? If only we had some way to travel back in time. Transmitting Jack's protocols back in time won't help us here, Doctor. It's also impossible without a working FTL. For that plan to work, Jack would have to physically bring a counterpulse device back with him. Something he can't do digitally. Uh, I'm not talking about digital time travel. But I slept all the way. Oh. Oh, I see. Um, I don't... Where have I seen this before? Um... I believe that is one of the Estrella's FTL drives. I recall seeing a number of them while retrieving a fuel cell from the wreckage. What do you think, Apollo? Could it work? I'll need to run some models, but it's possible. What the hell are you two on about? I, I I'll don't... explain everything once Jack and I are on our way to the Estrella. Oh, I thought this room. was the end. Oh, hold on. No one's going anywhere until one of you gives me something resembling an explanation. Where? No, if you want to send Jack back ah. out to that plague-infested garbage scout, you have to at least give a reason. But the longer we wait... The less chance we have to succeed. I'll do it for you, buddy. Me. Come on. I know I already asked far too much of you both, but what about it? I have taken this as far as it can go. I need your help to finish it. Do it. <sighs> what do you need us to do? Jack, you and I will make our way back to the Australia's drive bay. Okay. You'll need my assistance to unlock the FTL housing. Go all right. Captain Rhodes, if you would remain here with Dr. Harlan, there's some specialized equipment you'll need to fabricate and assemble. Open up. Oh, brilliant. Is this the big finish? Opening airlock. Take your time, Juno. Jack. Yep. Sorry. Good luck. Uh, Let us know when you've reached the Astrea. Sure. Copy that. We'll do. Airlock cycling. Stand by. Watch yourself over there, Jack. Don't let those ticks give you too much hassle. Can I have my guns back? I'm actually more concerned that I'll somehow damage the FTL and destroy the ship. <laughs> and now so am I. No need for concern, Jack. I'll be there to supervise. Bye. I've never had an FTL overload on my watch. Really only takes one, though, doesn't it? Just be careful, Jack. And before you ask, yes. That's an order. Thanks. Alright, here we go. We're exiting port side airlock. We need to make our way back to the Astrea, to the auxiliary drive bay. Alright, Apollo, you're on your way. I'm waiting for my explanation. We all agree, simply transmitting Jack's consciousness into the past won't work this time. 
However, if we were to appropriate one of the Estrella's remaining FTL drives, the Doctor and I believe we may be able to use it to return both you and Jack to the 22nd century. You're saying we might be able to go home? I'm reticent to make any assurances, but yes, I believe it is possible. Oh, assuming at least one of the drives is still operational. I thought you said we couldn't access the drives because of all the biomass. That was before we had the counterpulse. Well, that's great, but do you have some way for Jack to administer it? Jack, make your way to the nearest fabricator. I have a new modification oh. for your shell. Understood. The fabricator is just to the left of the bridge entrance. This one? Wonder what new toys I'm gonna get now. Oh, oh, no, wrong way. Come on in, upgrade me. What do I get? Integration successful. Your new counterpulse device is ready to be equipped. I recommend we run a field test before proceeding further. Okay. Those ticks feeding on the substation should make for suitable targets. I've got a gun, haven't I? I've got a gun. Um. This one. And I've got a laser sight. Oh! Just got Field fire. Test successful. It's a weapon. A focused counterpulse emitter. Based on a design from my own timeline and calibrated to the same wavelength as the treatment we administered via the medical pod. Cure gun. Nice. Understand, this device will only eliminate the older, more primitive biomass. The more evolved forms from this time period will just be temporarily incapacitated. Oh, regardless, it should make short work of the biomass surrounding the Astrea's FTL drives. It's possible with more research data we could refine the treatment wavelength even further, making the device that much more efficient. Which would allow the emitter to discharge more shots before overheating. Certainly fixed you right up, didn't we? We're ready to proceed to the drive bay. In the meantime, Captain Rhodes, I will need you to assemble a custom gantry to secure the FTL once it's in our possession. I've already fed the necessary specifications to the fabricators. Good. I'm in the mood for a bit of work. Hey, Jack. Yep. Taking one last gander for old time's sake. Was this the last time? I thought it might be worth making a final inspection of the bridge, um. just in case. <laughs> Moving out into the debris field now. Just get that FTL and get back here quick as you can. That's thanks for spending more time over there. Agreed. I'm gonna need my scanner. Let's assume this works. Oh god, I've got so many of them. Let's say you two track down the working FTL. We get it hooked up and Apollo manages to recreate a physical time jump that, by some miracle, sends us back home to our own time. How exactly are we supposed to eliminate all the biomass once we're there? Figure that out when we I get mean, there. It's not like we can just set off a bomb and blow it all to smithereens. Ooh, That's wow. exactly what you're planning to do, isn't it? Well, not a bomb so much as a device that will unleash a sudden and forcible burst of energy across a widespread area. So, oh. a bomb. Yes. Oh, I shouldn't have gone this but way. One that emits a counterpulse that should only be harmful to the biomass. Oh. I am a tactical AI. Most of my solutions tend to involve some form of explosion. Uh-huh. Oh. How will we make this device? I mean, I could do it. Faster. But my hands are a bit tied at the moment. I can easily repurpose existing equipment to construct oh, a poo. counterpulse. Dispersion. Oh, this Catalyst. this is not good. Uh, cure bomb. Very well. Cure bomb. We will also need a means of transport, ideally one that can regulate the catalyst's energy. I'm going to make this. The cargo drones should be more than capable of assembling the materials we need. Excellent. I will transmit the details. Quick. Oh. Wait a second. How is Jack's reboot ability supposed to work in the past? Network. My design for our makeshift transport includes a single fabricator to accommodate Jack's reboot for the duration of our mission. Once we've detonated the catalyst and are out of danger, we can address reintegrating Jack's protocols into an Atlas network. Assuming all this goes to plan. Well, yes. 
it would be rather difficult to operate on the opposite assumption. I didn't hear any of that. I'm too busy trying to figure out how I'm going to get through this. Come on. Shields at 95%. Yes. Oh. I've got to do these ticks. Where are they? Oh, there's a lot of them. Well, this is the final mission. The last flight of the navigator. Ah! Shields at 95%. You're gonna need to hurry up a little bit, Jack. I've reached the drive bay. Oh, you got to be More kidding me. Not bad, is it? Jack, the removal process will require access to several mechanisms throughout the drive bay. Yeah. Any live ticks in the area will undoubtedly make our job that much more difficult. Understood. Oh, I'll sake. clear them out. Our aim is to locate a viable FTL drive. We need one that is suitably infected with biomass, but not to the extent that it is overrun. The Goldilocks FTL. An accurate, somewhat antiquated. Uh. Once we find a suitable drive, we'll need to remove it from its housing and extract it via the corresponding service port. Oh, is there one left? All clear, Apollo. Acknowledged. Now then, we should start by identifying any FTLs that are still extractable. Look for drives whose locking pins are largely clear of biomass at the upper and lower extremities. Like that one? Understood. I'll see if there's a drive that's clear enough to move. Anyone able to cross their fingers, do it now. Oh, I need one of these, didn't I? Is it one of these I need? The internal components are infested with biomass. It must have found its way in through the room's infrastructure. This is an encouraging sign. Is it? The FTL that caused the Estrella's original jump back in time was similarly infected. This may be the drive we're looking for. Oh. Some biomass is present, but not enough to impede the locking ends. Now to inspect the opposite end. Opposite end or other end? Huh. The locking pins on this end also appear to be free of any obstruction. Confirmed. Cursory inspection verifies. Internal biomass growth is also suitable for our needs. Is that our winner? It certainly appears so. So we're good to go. Nearly. The FTL will first need to be primed, which requires filling the drive with an ionized fluid and stimulating a hybrid voltaic reaction. Is that as dodgy as it sounds? Priming the drive is a fairly standard procedure. Moving a drive after it's been primed is most certainly not. How do we start the procedure? The drive controls are offline. You'll need to initiate the process manually. Look for an access panel on the side of the FTL drive. What do you mean, like this one here? Access panel located. You'll have to cut your way in. Pull the lever inside and the drive will begin priming. Once the injection process is complete, I will funnel all remaining power in the drive bay to the FTL. Injection complete. I will now attempt to create a sustained reaction by applying any remaining power. Stand by.
Sustained reaction achieved. We're ready to remove the drive. Outstanding. How? What's next, Apollo? The FTL drive is held in place by locking mechanisms at its upper and lower extremities. They must be manually released before the drive can be Ow. removed. Got it. I'll release the locks. The release mechanisms are housed within the drive moorings at both the top and bottom of the chamber. You'll need to cut your way. Understood. Oh my god, this is so bloody freaky. How do I get up there? Go in. Aha. Okay, let's do some cutting. I've gained access to the drive locking mechanisms. The release control is located on the drive mm. itself, between the lock. Jesus Christ! Go away. Upper locking mechanism released. Good. Once you release the lower lock, the drive should come free. Oh, I don't think I'm going through there. talking much but there is a lot going on drive unlocked um, excellent i've repowered a nearby control panel so you can complete the removal procedure the controls will allow you to position the drive so it can be easily removed via cargo drive this one controls located a lot going on to move the drive simply grip the interface then slide your hands toward the upper lock moving ftl into position Once the drive reaches the outer wall, you can open the jack. Oh! Get lost. Ticks. Uh. Stand by. I'll deal with them. Okay. Ticks. Tick off. Tick threat neutralized. Resuming removal process at the control terminal. Once the drive reaches the outer wall, you can open the surface port to make the drive available for retrieval. Okay. On it. The drive is in position. Now what? How do I open the service port? Multi operator release controls on either side of the hatch. Ah, so I'm gonna need this one. I do like the way they've given you lots more tools to play with. And guns. Guns are good. Yeah. Oh. Removal process complete. The FTL drive is ready to be extracted. Good work, Jack. Drones are Should on the drive. Copy ah. that. I think I need to get on the drone. This is going to be a long fly back. Oh. Ready? Ready to depart with the cargo in T minus 10 seconds. If you plan to accompany the drive, I suggest you take hold yeah, now. Hold Departing in 3, 2, 1. Thrusters engaged. Whee! 
I'm exiting the drive bay. Give the Astraea away. Okay. Go. Suppose this is the last we'll be seeing Wait. of her. Oh, sorry. I'm afraid that's Bye. not entirely accurate. To ensure we eliminate all the biomass in the past, we will need to generate a counterpulse substantial enough to blanket the entire Kronos II orbital sector. To do so, we will have to venture into the remains of the Astraea that were left behind in 2126 what? and use the ship's primary drive exchange conduit to amplify the output of the cure bomb. Kind of grows on you, doesn't it? Not unlike a biomass infestation. We're back in there. So, where am I in all this? I will need you to accompany us into the wreckage. As acting captain of the Astraea, your authorization is required to access the primary drive bay. Right. Well, I've nearly finished rigging up the gantry. Should be good to go by the time the drones turn up with the FTL. I'll see you back here shortly. Acknowledged. Jack, I should tell you. If our end succeeds, it is unlikely you will be able to return to this timeline. If there are any outstanding tasks you'd like oh. to finish, now might be the opportune time. Understood. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with that information. Hey, look at me free flying it. Woo! Just flying through the air in space. Bloody lunatic. This will transport not only the cure bomb, but also the captain and myself. Correct. It won't be particularly fast. But it should be safe. Still, Captain, for posterity, you'll want to stay clear of the thrusters. Though your suit should be more than capable of... Sorry, Juno, I'll only close you up to a thruster if I start to get chilly. Hi. Facetiousness aside, I doubt that will be an issue. Our intended date of arrival corresponds with the Astraea's wreckage still burning through a sustained plasma reaction. Did you get any of that? Radiation levels will be quite high. The transport's dampener, however, will... When did you two become a pair of doting parents? I get it, though. I'll be careful. Thank you. <laughs> what are we doing, then? What? I secured it. It's fine. Don't get cheeky with me. All right, Doc. The gantry's rigged up. I think we're all set here. Jack, I want to remind you again. Once we start this process, we are effectively locked Fine. in. Your shell will be exclusively paired to the fabricator on the rear of the transport okay. rig. If you exceed its range, you will be forced to reboot. If you have any remaining tasks you'd like to address, this is your final I opportunity. I feel, feel like there's a task I need to do. Because you keep saying that. I understand. I'm ready to begin. Everyone, keep clear. Um, try. Clamps are set. Bring her in. You've been busy. I know. Oh, these are the clamps. Not bad, right? Indeed. Most impressive. Well, having a whole mess of drones around to do my bidding certainly didn't. You love people Might doing your bidding, don't you? Exactly up to spec, but it'll get the job done. Oh. Don't listen to him. Fly popcorn! I'm secured. Confirmed. Give me that. Established. Give me that. The FTL is now linked to the station's power grid. Reading vigorous biomass activity within the drive. The infection is feeding off the FTL's energy field. Is that a good thing? I assume that's good. It's expected. Begin diagnostic and compatibility check. Verify functionality of all drive components. This should only take a moment. Only take a moment, girl. No only take a moment. We'll just sit here in nervous anticipation. Oh, Very should well. be. I will admit, this arrangement feels decidedly less secure than our last jump through time. He has a point, Apollo. You basically have us riding a literal time bomb into the awesome. past. Awesome. Mind-bendingly awesome as that might sound. You are sure this is going to work? Yes. The odds of success are surprisingly favorable, especially when one considers all the valuables at play. I go for a bar, look. Diagnostic and compatibility check complete. Stand by while I reconfigure the FTL's drive settings to mirror the exact conditions that first sent the Astraea back in time. We're going to ride it out here. Come here. Dr. Harlan? Yes, we have to get clear of the platform. 
Huh. Oh, that's what he did. So it would seem. Pudding. Boing. Captain, I. Sorry. I wanted to say I'm sorry. I was wrong to keep you in the dark as long as I did. Perhaps if I trusted you sooner. Yeah, you should have. In any case, I hope you can forgive no. me. Though I don't expect you to. Oh, right, maybe, maybe a little bit. Right. Well, uh, goodbye. Uh, Dr. Harlan, thank you. What you're doing here, she'd be proud of you. She'd be angry I'm proud with of you. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. But she'd still be proud. Thank you. Both of you. You're welcome, Doc. For helping you put an end to this. Why can't I show him? Doctor, we should really be going. Yes. All right. Good luck, Doctor. To all That's us. Us. FTL settings configured. As That's soon us. as the Doctor is clear, we can begin spinning up the drive. You ready? Oh, so bitch, don't mind me. You just take care of him straight in the face. Of course, always. God. Goodbye, Jack. I will make sure to permanently archive all of the time we have spent oh. together. Thanks, Juno. I'm not Thanks, Juno. You. You're welcome. Good luck saving Still your time. Still don't trust line. you. Popcorn? One little bit. Ready? Fabricator. Don't know what this All right. is. It's okay. Well, what do you I say, Jack? Have five. You ready for this? Oh, for God's sake! I want a high five. Too late now. I think at this point it might be too late to change our minds. Apollo, we are clear. Very well. Commencing final jump prep.